Hello and welcome to my first ever Johnson Controls CCT tutorial or controller configuration tool. So in this tutorial I want to talk about all the types of inputs and outputs that we have in CCT. So let, let's get started. Okay, so here are the three types of input output blocks that we have in CCT. Those are Boolean, Enum, and Float. Boolean, the first type, are inputs or outputs that can only have two values or two states. Those are false and true, nothing else. So that's the best way to remember, Boolean, false, true. Um, there are other uh, programs uh, that they use, that they can use different units like 0, 1, or off on but in CCT is strictly false and true little definition a system used for logical thought and, and you will see once I, I show you in CCT uh, how boolean is used basically to do all the all the programming so the second type of inputs or outputs that we have are enum um, it's a chart for enumerator and this uh, means two or more states. So an input can have either off on state, normal alarm, or more than or more than one state, like off on control, cooling, heating, fan, auto. Same for outputs. Our last type of input and outputs are float. And these are a little different from enum and boolean as they are numbers. A number that can have a decimal value it can be whole numbers, can be negative numbers. So examples will be airflow, 50 CFM, cubic feet per minute, static pressure, 2.31 inches per water column, or can be temperature, 7.5 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, coming back to CCT. So when I was uh, talking about inputs and outputs, I, I was not only referring to the physical controller's inputs and outputs, but to uh, all types, all types of inputs and outputs, uh, network inputs, network outputs, uh, logical block inputs and outputs, and even, even inside the logic, every single um, little block has its yellow inputs, its blue outputs, its red inputs, and this is an output so and the idea of this tutorial is to show you how to identify them and know the, the differences okay let's start with network inputs and network outputs so as its name implies network these are not real inputs these are like software inputs so and you can tell room temperature set point a set point you know, it can be like a software value, um, chat on command, system enable, you know, system enable, it's uh, also software. And as far as net network outputs, we have system running, it's like a status, a status that they, frankly, is actually running. So for room temperature set point, if I double click on it, um, the first thing I want to look at is the default value. So you can tell that it's a number with uh, units degrees Fahrenheit. So a number, it's a float. Remember, floats are always numbers, digits. So that's a float. Uh, let's see, chat down command. I'll double click on it. And well, we have a default value as well of no. Uh, we have state text which are the units no yes so this is an enum right enumerator this is not false true it's just no yes you know it could be normal reverse no non-status no flow flow it can be also multiple values see um let's find one normal short open right we keep on going like occupancy effective this one well you can't see the multiple values but if you go to default value you can tell that it's a four state um, value 
occupy and occupy bypass and standby so I don't I'm not gonna save that I'm gonna cancel so this is an enumerator an enum now system enable so let's see what that is disable enable so also an enum right now if we go back to network outputs system running what can that be let's double click on that so we have a little different setup but you can tell inactive active te text is false and true so my default values false true so that's basically a boolean okay so there's one little thing that can get you confused uh, let's go to this enumerator system enable uh, and I'm gonna try to change the units um, not disable and enable sometimes people likes to use false true but remember that false true is boolean right but actually under enumerator units you can also pick that uh, I'm gonna type the letter F for false I'm gonna keep going down so we have false true so basically an enumerator can have these units because it's two or more states but it can also have boolean units false true so how can you tell the difference from an actual boolean so the trick is here the type of object object identifier it shows MB which stands for I believe multi-value or multiple value so that's kind of like an, an enumerator multiple value right so I'm not gonna save that so let's see if that's true multiple value or multi-value let's go to shutdown command it also has an MB multi-value but if I go to my network output that we already know that is a boolean I double click on it and two ways to identify we instead of saying MB it says BB so it's a boolean value that that right that tells you right away it's a boolean the other hint is that uh, if you want to change the units let's say off on disable enable you know you, you can find that anywhere right you can kind of change the text for of false and true but I don't recommend that so just keep it false true but yeah binary value that tells you that it's uh, that what it is it's a boolean so oh yeah now let's go back to room temperature so that's that's not an MB or a BB well, what's that an AB that's an analog value so when you hear the word analog you know it just think of a number analog so so yeah it's easy to tell as well that's the easiest one because it's always a number now for physical inputs and physical outputs so let's start with the first point oh outside air humidity so this is a number obviously is a float you can tell right away um, and it's actually a 4 to 20 milliamps signal so when you have 4 to 20 it's a float it's a, it's a number let's see the next one outside air temperature that's also a float and it's a zero to 10 volt signal so that also tells you that it's a number rmt room temperature so this one yeah you know that's a number as well you can tell um, and with these inputs they also have an object identifier it's a little different from from the network inputs uh, like room temperature is an analog input ai that's a number let's see this guy AI as well analog input and that's analog input as well next one what is this supply air smoke alarm this is a BI binary input so binary means two states but when we're talking about inputs uh, I don't think we can have any booleans so they're always gonna be enumerators so and uh, two state enumerators most most of the time 
to apply air temperature same thing is a number AI it's a float supply fan status it's a binary input so uh, that's also an enumerator two states only in this case um, now outputs physical outputs first one is cooling command and I can kind of tell you that it's an analog output so analog is a number so percentage percent command are the units so it's a number from 0 to 100 that's a float supply fan start stop that's um, a binary output but again uh, physical outputs can be boolean really so they're considered enum so only a uh, two state enum so stop start they can be off on as well so bo's now the last thing i want to talk about is the uh, inputs and outputs of the programming blocks so if you see as i click on a block um, the bottom part starts updating and it's because i'm i'm under the connection step so if I go to my supply fan star stop programming block, you can see that it's right here, supply fan star stop, and it has inputs and outputs. So it has two inputs in yellow and an output in blue, light blue. Same thing with cooling. Click on cooling, I have my inputs and my outputs. So if I right click on my supply fan star stop program block and, and view logic uh, we can see that um, let me just okay so we can see that we have two inputs which are these two inputs and one output so my two inputs we know that these are enum my output is also an enum is a star stop but in order to do all the uh, all the logical program we need to translate all that into boolean which is the two states right so basically you can see that after my system enable i have an enum to boolean translation that's the only way that i can connect um, the system enable to a to a and gate or a not gate logic gate so same thing with chat command we have a translation so let, let's double click on it so my tr my translation tells um, that my input is disable enable and it translates into false and true right so and then translate into false and true so so it can go into my boolean logic so let me make a simulation really quick so you can see the actual values so you can see that my enable is being translated into a true. My chat don't command is actually, is actually yes. So uh, we want this won't allow the fan to start because chat down is yes. So in order to start, we need to have these two conditions uh, be true. So let's see what's inside here. Yes means true. No means false. So if my shot down command was no, it will output a false and this this not gate inverts the value. So if it's a true, it's a false. If you have a false, it will translate it to a true. So basically after all this uh, logical program, um, we need to convert it back to um, enum so we can actually command the start stop, which is an enum output. So here's the translator. False means stop, true means start. Now if I go back to control tab, and let's say I set my chat down to no, I don't want to chat down the fan. I want it, I want that to run. You'll say no. It should start in a second. So the fan will run. So if I right click and view my logic, you can see that it's both conditions are, are true. So coming back to the um, next module, uh, programming block, I mean, if 
I go to logic, I'm gonna make this big. So you can see, okay, I'm not gonna explain the whole, all this logic, this is for another video, but I just want you to, to start identifying um, the type of inputs and outputs, right? So I have we have enums here, they're being translated into boolean, so they can go into a logical block, which is only an ant. Um, and then if this is true, then it's going to convert that back to an enum, an off on menu, enum. So, and then there's some commands for outputs. You can tell this is a float, a boolean. If I go here, I can tell that these are my float. All these are floats. This PID preprocessor has outputs. You remember the light blue are outputs. The yellow, uh, yellow uh, mar uh, marks are inputs. So also PID, is, PID has its inputs and outputs. So you can see all, the, all of its inputs are floats, are numbers. And it outputs also a number, which is the command for the cooling, cooling command. So here we have a uh, boolean as well. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Uh, I hope uh, this video is of good help. And uh, I'll see you on the next one. Thank you for watching.